what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can make our audio files much better by using audacity now if you've got an audio file that's pretty poor quality and you want to make it sound a bit better then you can use audacity to do this now the problem is if you've got a file that has been recorded completely wrong i.e over modulating or too loud or something like that it may be difficult to try to uh, make that file sound great so it's better to record it at a lower level where you can make more changes uh, to that file and uh, add amplification and stuff like that and make it sound a lot better. Now I'm no expert with audio, uh, but I do sort of go through a certain routine when I'm doing uh, audio files. So let's take a look at what you can do. So let's open up Audacity. It's a free program to use, as I said. And uh, once you've got this open, we're gonna snap this to the right hand side and uh, we're going to open this file up here now this is our test file we're going to drop this into audacity and then you will get this pop-up box and you want to make a copy uh, of these files before editing to keep it safe I'm going to say OK here and uh, that's that so we're ready to go so what we can do here now is this is our audio file and uh, there may be bits on here that you don't want, but I'll try to leave a, p a space at the beginning so you can make some corrections to background noise and stuff like that. So let's have a listen to our file. Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be... It sounds pretty bad, uh, but we're going to try to make this sound a lot better uh, in this video. So the first thing I want to do here is separate these tracks because we've got a track here that we don't want. There's nothing on it. So I'm just going to, uh, and I can't delete this here as you can see because there's only one whole track. So what I'm going to do here is go to this little drop down menu and we're going to split this uh, either stereo track here and all mono. You can either change it to mono if you want to. Uh, but then once I've done that, I can now delete this track. So let's have a listen now. Once you guys got another video here for you in this one, we're going to... Now let me just show you what it sounds like when we reduce this into mono. So let me undo this track removal here. And let me undo that split. So now we're going to undo what we did there and split this into a mono track and then we're going to delete that track. Now let's have a listen now. What right, you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be sounds a lot better already. So what we're going to do next is clean up the sound. So we're going to come here and select this blank area. And you can hear when you start this playing could see the movement here but you guys got another video on the actual uh, bar here so what we're going to need to do is select this and we're going to go into effect and we're going to remove the noise so we're going to do noise reduction uh, get noise profile of this area now we're going to select the whole of the uh, track and go back into effect and back into noise reduction now I've left these around about halfway Click OK, and that will do a noise reduction on that file. So if we play it now, look at that. What you guys got another video here for you? No uh, noise is coming from this area. Now that's also cleaned up the whole of this file and any spaces it's cleaned any noise, which is really nice. It gets rid of the background noise. So now we've done that, we can quickly uh, edit this and delete that area I don't want this area on on my audio and I also don't want this area here so I'm just going to delete these areas now I've got the audio where I want it you can see it's pretty low so what you can do uh, is highlight this and we're going to go into effect and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into normalize I'm going to leave this at a minus six decibels and click preview. But you guys got another video here for you. And you can hear already it's sounding pretty good. So I'm just going to click OK here and let that 
do its thing. So now we've got this done here, like so. So let's have a listen. What you guys got another video here for you. Yeah. So now we're getting nice, good, clean audio. And uh, what we can do, we can mess around with this a bit more if we wish. We can highlight the whole of this audio track and go into effects. And you can mess around in uh, equalization. You can amplify if you're not getting enough uh, uh, loudness there. You can also do bass and treble. You can do this in also equalization. You can set a hard limiter if you wish, uh, which will give you uh, whatever hard limiter you want to set it to so it doesn't overdo things and uh, you can apply that say about half, uh, minus four so it won't go any higher than that uh, you can also come in here and let's do an equalization now there's loads of types of uh, settings you can do inside here uh, treble bass depending on what you want to do so let's just try a bit of bass but you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can uh... now you can already hear that sounds pretty nice and warm and, and quite deep now there's also other things that you can do here you can also uh, set the emi 78 then this sort of setting is set uh, by an old uh, type of setting uh, emi was a music industry uh, label in the uk and uh, what it does is it gives you a little bit more uh, good for audio. So let's have a listen. But you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can... Uh... See, I like the sound of that. It's really nice and it's great for podcasting and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this EMI 78 and click OK. And that will add this to uh, our file but you guys got another video here for you in this one we can and already you can hear that we've uh, achieved quite a lot in that short few steps that we've taken there now you can take this a step further if you wish uh, you can clean it some more uh, but I and cut out little areas um, but that's how you can boost your audio and make it sound a lot better as it is but if you want to do certain things like that there's loads of tools in here that helps you achieve what you want to achieve inside uh, here okay and there's loads of different areas that you can mess around with but hopefully those simple steps will uh, make your audio sound a lot better as you can see we've already uh, recovered uh, from this bad audio file to make it sound pretty decent and uh, it's it's not too bad it sounds okay so that's good enough to use in a video or a podcast or anything like that yes. So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, if you like enjoy so. these videos, guys, and, uh, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe uh, format, button you if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, format, if you've got any you problems with your like computers this, or you just we're... want to join the community, then head over to the forums. Uh, that's where we're all hanging out over there. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Maybe write us a little review or something in appreciation. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.